also cook Dave Rill here again in my kitchen and today I'm going to share with you one of my very popular recipe and one of my best recipes according to most people anyway uh, it's my homemade protein bars my high protein fudge bars and to be honest these are the most tasting homemade protein bars in the world I'm not kidding like actually they're pretty dangerous because they're very addi addictive <laughs> I kind of stopped making them actually for myself because I would eat them the whole pan for myself basically but it's a very um, you know very easy recipe to do uh, easy to prepare easy to make and the thing is it's all made of natural ingredients you know there's not protein bars are nice it can be very convenient you know when you travel or you know when you want a quick snack but however like most protein bars on the market are filled with you know nasty stuff uh, so and lots of sugar basically so now I'm going to show you how to make a very healthy protein bar and um, you're going to see it's very easy to do. So I'm going to show you what you need for this recipe. Um, you need low-fat milk. See here I got a 1% milk. Any low-fat milk would do. You need about half a cup. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I say about a half a cup because you might need to adjust it. Um, you need three tablespoons of natural honey. Uh, natural peanut butter as well. You need about one-third of a cup. Um, three tablespoons of crushed peanuts. All right. So here what I did, I took whole peanuts and I just crushed them with a spoon in the plate. I'm going to show you what you're going to need to do with those later on. Uh, you need one cup of oatmeal. That cup of oatmeal, um, it's only one cup. I use, um, as you can see, is the quick oats. It's uh, basically, it's not the old fashioned, you know, large grain. It's um, large flakes, I mean, sorry. It's a, it's a quick grain, so it's, it's easier to mix because it's actually cut in half. Cover that and about eight scoops of oatmeal of oatmeal of protein powder, chocolate protein powder. You you can pretty much use any flavor you want for this recipe. However, uh, with all the ingredients, it works a lot more, a lot better with uh, chocolate protein powder. It tastes a lot better. So about eight scoops, and uh, it's about 30 grams per scoop. This is the size I you know I base myself on for this recipe. And basically, what you need a big bowl and a glass dish that's it all right now we're going to start the dirty the dirty work um, you're going to see this recipe actually it's easy to make but however the, the bars and you're going to find it weird at first they, they're very sticky okay but th there's a reason for that so um you're going to start by mixing together protein powder so we got about eight scoops and a cup of oatmeal all right so we mix that all together just mix the dry ingredients together first then what I do, I put one third of a cup of natural peanut butter. One thing guys, make sure the natural peanut butter you got is fairly liquid. If you use regular peanut butter and the peanut butter is, you know, kind of hard, that is going to be very difficult to mix uh, in this recipe. And what it's going to cause, is going to cause the mix to be very dry. So you want basically natural peanut butter and you want it, you know, very liquid like this one. So I can just... Just use. It's about it's about three four t tablespoons, rounded up tablespoons of peanut butter. Peanut butter. That's fine. There you go. All right. If you just make sure you, you kind of you know try to mix it everything together and then incorporate the honey. So honey is about three tablespoons all right it's about three tablespoons don't be too picky about it uh, because you want the cool th the thing with the honey that's what's going to make pretty much everything stick together is the honey so that's an ingredient don't be shy three good tablespoons of natural honey if you need more it's okay sometimes you know like it's three tablespoons but plus minus one tablespoon basically so the mix is very dry, so we're going to need to add some liquid to it, so that's why we got low fat milk. So about half a cup of low fat milk. What I recommend, don't start, because it depends, again, it's going to depend on the type of protein powder you're using and everything. Um, so just start with a little bit less than half a cup and then add a little bit more if you need, alright? So there you go, here, mix everything together, we, you can see that the mix here still pretty dry so we're gonna add a little bit more 
oops, milk. And I use big scoops of protein powder. And the cool thing with this one, again, it all depends. It's a new brand of protein I'm using. It doesn't mix as well as the one I'm used to. However, you can see it starts blending all together. So you really got to mix everything together well. At first, it's going to start powdery, but the more you stir it, the more it's going to form kind of a dough bar. So there you go. There we have. We have that dough here to mix. And then I'm going to show you now what to do with them. All right. Now that you've formed, you know, your mix, your mix is done. It's very sticky. All right. And um, you can form. There's two ways you can do it now. You can either take with your own hands, but it's going to be sticky, and you can form bars with it, or you can spread it in a dish that you're going to place in the fridge for about 45, 30 to 45 minutes, and then you can cut your bars okay, separately. Um, I tried both, to be honest, they work both the same. Um, for this one, I'm just going to show you the easy way, is just to pour the mix in the pan. As you can see, it's very sticky. So very hard, you know, to handle with your hands. However, with with a spoon, it's pretty pretty easy. So the thing is, this one you take the dough and you just spread it at the bottom of the pan. Glass dish usually is a bit better. You can even like put some cooking oil or something at the bottom so it doesn't stick. This one it's not a big deal. When it's gonna actually when you're gonna put it in the fridge, everything's gonna get more firm. Okay, now that we've spread, you know, the mix in the pan, there's one thing you can do. It's optional. You don't have to do it, but I like to do it. It's very good. You can just sprinkle um, your crushed peanuts on top, all right? So, just cr set three tablespoons, no matter, whatever you, you want, basically. I don't know if I'm going to use the full, all of them, but you just sprinkle it on top, and they're going to stick to the bars. So now, here it is. So now we're gonna put this for about 30 to 45 minutes in the fridge, and I'll be back with the final results. All right, it's been about 45 minutes now, guys, and you can see the mix is now firm, and I'm gonna be able to cut my proteins into five bar, my, pro my, my bars into, uh, into five, basically, that mix. So, I'm gonna try to make about five equal bars. You can see they're pretty big, they're gonna be pretty big bars, so very good, Snack size. So I got five bars, my friend. They're still a little bit sticky. They might require a little bit more time in the fridge. However, the key here is to take them out. And actually, the thing, because they might get they're solid on the top, a little bit, still a little bit sticky on the other side. What you can do is put them on the other side and then put the plate in the fridge and they're going to be completely firm at that point. So you do the same thing for the five bars and this is the final results folks. Homemade protein bars. Alright, All right, I got some visits now. My big buddy Remy the Machine, Robbie Show, just here to visit me. Okay, well you come at the right time buddy because I just made my homemade protein bars. So, you can give those a try and tell me what you think. Smells good, man. Yeah? A little sticky, but... So, what do you think? Mm. Aren't those the best pro homemade protein bars in the world? Oh yeah, man. Yeah? How many, uh, how many biceps up? Two biceps up, man. Two biceps up? Right on. <laughs> All right, bro. I'm gonna keep this. Uh, no. <laughs> See ya. Hey, hey, come back, man. <laughs>